All right, in ad in for $3 a month, fixes the webhook problem, fixes the memory storage problem, and fixes the updating problem, especially if you don't know how to use it. So what do I mean? In ad in, look at it in here. Let me firstly shout out to the awesome websites. One of the best websites, awesome animations in here. This is just a cool looking website. Um, look at the mouse and the movement. Anyway, enough fanboying angry. In it in is one of the best and more, more um, suitable and usable AI automation tools out there, and especially in the world where there's a lot of them. Um, it's just really, really good. And what makes it that extra special is the fact that it's open source and you can host and run it onto your own computer. But the problem happens is number one, webbox that needs a connection in and out and it needs a permanent address for the connection to come back in and actually have an address to it. Number two, most of the VM virtual machines that you go and host it on has got a bit of a memory problem. Either the memory runs out really fast and you can't upgrade it, or they don't have memory, so you do your work and when the machine restarts, either for updates, which gets really annoying is the third point, or just because um, the machine crashes or automation crashes, you lose all your work. And then the last part is updates. You need to have updates, especially in this evolving age, and especially if you're going to have a community module where you can do community updates and do things like MCP in there, you need all those. So those are three very important things topped up with saving a lot of money for it. So $3 a month, what a bargain. Um, pricing in here for this awesome software, you're going to see, um, I think it actually comes back up to 20 pounds, 26 US dollars a month about. Um, a little bit expensive, right? Um, how about you have this all unlimited with everything I fix for three dollars a month? And if you do more and your machine wants to crash, uh, you can upgrade and update anytime. I'm going to show you how, and it's going to be short and sweet because it's that easy. And the system I'm going to show you has got everything else built into it, so it just works. So let's get into that video right now. So the place to host this all at is called Repo Cloud. Now again, there's a bunch of other VM sources everywhere um, that you can use, but they are a little bit more expensive. The cheapest I kind of found prior to this um, was about six or seven dollars a month, and you get a tiny bit of machine. What do I mean by machine? You come in here and pricing. So Repo Cloud is called. We'll drive into it soon, but we're going to look in the pricing. The machine, I mean, a virtual machine that spins up and it has RAM and CPU and storage. All of the other places for $6 a month only gets you about half a gigabyte of RAM. You share a CPU, either half or 0 0.25 of a CPU shared with other instances, and you either have like one gig or even less memory to save it up, and obviously it fills up really fast. But as you can see, this either charges per hour, and when you work it out for your 24, um, or over a month, it works out to $3 a month. And if you feel that you're gonna have a bunch of live sessions running, which is gonna take you a while, you can just keep updating and keep updating and keep updating. So you can even see a really powerful system this is as good as probably your laptop or your computer that you're working on at home is going to have something like this. It's going to be $24 a month and it's going to be a mean uh, machine and it's going to be really good. But what makes Repo Cloud so good is number one, the free trial. You've got a free trial with $5 of credit, I think it is. So let's just go in there, start it up, it's going to hit the free trial and I should be able. Now you can't log in with Google, so let me just, this is a free account, one of my spare ones, so I'm going to open my Gmail on the side, do I have Gmail in here, yes I do, I'm going to look at all my random emails, see I use this all for uh, Brave Surge, I use it for, um, yeah, a bunch of testing out, so you should have a throwaway account, but it's going to come in here, I'm definitely not going to use that password. 
Um, and it should just work from that. Does that work? Nice. Or right, you're in. Let's just come through in here. And we should get that email soon. There it is. Please confirm it. Uh, standard stuff, right? Um, bam, you log in. Now you're not logged in, you need to log in. I'd say that there was the hardest part. <laughs> that there was the hardest part. Now, I actually I was wrong, you get $3 a month. Please make sure when you use this, you actually use my affiliated link below. So I get your 10% of $3. All right, awesome stuff. But what makes this so, so great? So you get $3 to play with. So you technically get your first month free, but we'll just come in here and you can see and come back to the main page. And you, the big trick or the big change here is that it actually has a bunch of pre-built machines built out and ready to go. So that makes a big difference because all the other places um, that run virtual machines doesn't have a specific, or most of them doesn't have a specific server built out for it. Yes, you can add Docker into it and you can run it um, and you need to do updates and changes. So a bit more manual process to it, but this has actually got a image ready to go right now for you. So yes, it's only a small minority kind of thing, but it just works out really good especially when it's going to come to updating. So it works really good. But you can see, besides in it end, there's just a lot of instances that's ready to go. Um, yeah. Really think about this, right? Bolt, um, something we talked about later later on in my other videos, but there's a bunch of things ready to go. So back to in it end, we want our own in it end server for $3 a month. So it's as easy as coming in here. We're selecting in it end. We're going to hit the deploy. Now, what I will say is, when you start this first up, you go into the $3 plan, and the $3 plan is going to be a plan that is pay as you use. So it starts at the $3 limit. So we can come back here on pricing. So this is a little trick, so you don't get caught up. Please remember this part. It starts in here, and the more you use, it will tick you up. So what will probably happen is you'll be on the $3 plan, and you're going to go crazy and you'll end up using a lot and will upscale you to this a month. All right? Smart. And they're going to catch you out with this, this. What you should do is do this. Play around with your N8N in server. Mess around. And then it's a matter of topping up your credits and actually starting a new machine over and then selecting the actual plan. So I'm going to show you what I mean with this. And um, the project name is going to be uh, YouTube N8N in Tester. Here it is, okay? Auto scale computer and storage resources. Make sure it is not clicked. That's what I mean. It's on there by default, okay? If you're going to start this out, make sure you tick this one to start it out with. If you know you're going to be up here and three dollars not your interest, then it's fine with this. You can upgrade as you go along if you feel it's not powering up. But if you're starting out with N8M, this is it. $3 a month, it is going to work for you. We're going to hit deploy app. All in here. All good. So I'll pause it now. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And it's deploying, installing, running, creating your own virtual computer for yourself. So I'll let that run. And we will come back when it's ready up for the next part. Okay, so... This doesn't take long and you'll get an email confirmation when it's ready. All right. So welcome back again. So after a couple of minutes, you have your in it in is being deployed. Then you have your uh, in it in has been deployed. Awesome. So come back to your open router. Oh, sorry. Repo cloud. I'm going to hit the refresh button. It's in here. And then we're going to hit manage. Now, this is great because, number one, the web hooks, the storage, the updates, but you can also now start adding your custom domain to it. So it's got the option for free on this version that you pay for to add custom domains for it. For example, um, I've added my N8N to my actual um, 
domain. So I've in at in dot my own domain and com. So I don't have to remember this URL all the time, but it's in there. It's working. What you need to do as soon as this deploys, you need to hit in there and start editing it because this is live on the internet. If someone else finds this link, which they do, they will run and create their own username, their own password for you, and you won't get access to it. I've done this before where I left it too long overnight, came back, and someone else took control of my instance. But anyway, nothing left and nothing's out. But come in here, click in here, and it has the default server up. You've got the website in there. And we're just going to quickly create a username and password. So we're going to use this one again. Um, email address and you just fill out the registration, right? So, oops, man. Now, please remember this, there's no actual reset for this. And then it's the same as anywhere else, but you get the started, uh, semi license. Do that so you can get your license or get anything. But here we go. You actually have your total N8N in, in here. It's open. You can use it for whatever you want. And webhooks actually work in here. So start from scratch. And you'll see you actually have an outside webhook function. It's in here. And you can go trigger, trigger webhook. And there it is. It's got a proper outside url that you can use so webhooks will work and we can just call this n8n test oops n8n test so webhook issue fixed in here at the back button it's saved in here we have fixed the memory problem so i'll show you what it means with this we're gonna how do you actually log out never log out of n8n so hold on to the memory thoughts, but you're going to come in here and you can see in here, if you want to do updates, it will update and not delete your settings. So you can just hit the update in here. And yes, I'm sure the actual scratch and pulling the latest image. Um, cache data ensures fresh setup. Yeah, that's fine. So it's just going to go through and do its thing again. Um, I'll probably have to pause it and come back again and we can re-look into this as well. So that's how you would update it if you would have had to update a, um, a normal version. And you'll be able to see once you log in, in the corner here, it will actually tell you whether the version is up to date or not. We need to do updates. If we don't need to do updates, then there's nothing in there. Um, so just have a look and think about that. So... Just again, the pricing, it fixed the memory. It's really, really far off and different. I'm not going to go through all the other ones to compare them. So let's give old mate here a couple of minutes to start up again. And I actually think it's, it should be done. Um, so yeah, there you go. It actually re remembered it. Password's in there. It's in there. And Bam, really as easy as, as that. That is it. No extra configurations. You, you can, there's lots of manage bits in here to manage in. If you want to come through and manage your server. Um, but you don't have to. Um, let's hit the back button. Um, and you can see environmental, environmental variables to really set up. You can add the extra ones if you want to. There's a whole bunch of in add in variables to add if you want to. Um, but you don't have to. The webhook one already works. So it just it works out the box. It's a half a decent starting computer in here for you to go out, try and test. Um, so far, I think it's one of the best things I've been using. Works really good for me. Um, yeah, I really suggest to go check it out, go try it. Um, you got $3 to play with. Um, yeah, just a really good option to have. Um, and it just stays, it solves all the big problems. I'm running it. Um, yeah, hope that makes sense. Hope you like this. Um, and please remember to, um, 
come check out my awesome community if you want any of the cool stuff exactly like that it's on school and i'll just bring it up always our agency um and we have all sorts of cool stuff like this i'll quickly show you in here please use the link below if you need to but once you join up you get a bunch of n8n stuff a bunch of mag stuff you get high level you get sms tools you get sas accounts sub accounts snapshots and it's like amazing little sweet price we're keeping it low under the 50s i might open it back up for 100 but the spots are limited comes and goes so yeah just try come and look this up and come and join something awesome and cool and amazing um yeah hope that made sense please use the link in here so i can have your one cents a month for this um and yeah talk to everyone later for this